This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. I'm Hal Mayer. Two distinguished scholars at Johns Hopkins University have released a lengthy three-part report that concludes there is not sufficient evidence to prove homosexuals and transgenders are born in that condition. In other words, there's no gay gene. The understanding of sexual orientation has an innate, biologically fixed property of human beings. The idea that people are born that way is not supported by scientific evidence, says the executive summary. The hypothesis that gender identity is an innate, fixed property of human beings that is independent of biological sex, that a person might be a man trapped in a woman's body or a woman trapped in a man's body, is not supported by scientific evidence, it adds. Melanie Wood of the Heritage Foundation points out the report is based on science, not politics. Hence, the scholars don't have a political point of view. The study also recognizes a corollary between same-gender attraction and sexual abuse as a child, and that the gender identity is fluid, which suggests that homosexuals can change. I think the evidence is becoming so overwhelming that there's no gay gene that even liberal-minded academics are forced to concede this point, says Peter LaBarbera of Americans for Truth about homosexuality. The homosexual lobby and a lot of people in it banked on the gay gene theory to win sympathy. And it worked. But the evidence continues to mount against that theory. Likewise also, as it was in the days of Lot. Luke 17, 28. This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. Thank you for watching. Thank you.